We're just gonna have to go with it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, so I posted this picture on Facebook a couple weeks ago of this green smoky eye and a lot of people just had a fit over it, so I figured I'd show you how to achieve it. We're going to start off by priming our face with my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. This is just going to make your skin nice and glowy like the sun behind me. And my Revlon Color Stay Foundation, and we're just dabbing that onto the face and working that in with a flat top kabuki. And remember, if you really want your foundation to last, press it into the face and then buff it out for the best results. Next, I'm going in with my Boing Concealer in 01 and just covering up a couple little red spots. I know you cannot see them in the camera, but I promise they are there. <laughs> and just dabbing that in with a little tapered foundation brush like I always do. Next, I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer <laughs> in Vanilla, which as you can see is super beige on me, but again, this is the lightest shade that they make, story of my life. <laughs> And we're just putting that underneath the eyes, on the chin, and on the forehead in between the eyebrows. And we're blending that in with an F86 Tapered Kabuki from Sigma. And I'm also bringing that onto my eyelids to prime for eyeshadow. This is not marketed as a concealer brush, but it works perfectly for this. And it doesn't steal all your product like a beauty blender will. Next, I'm going in with Ulta Eyeshadow in Sunrise, which is just a matte transition shade on a fluffy brush and just blending that into the crease. Then I'm taking my CoverGirl Bombshell Shine Shadow in Color Me Money, which is just a dark money green, and I'm dabbing that on with a Q-tip. You can use your finger, but I feel like this is a lot cleaner, cleaner and a lot easier to control, so that's why I like to use a Q-tip, and I just kind of layer it on there until I get it the nice color that I want. Next I'm taking NYX eyeshadow in Betrayal which is just kind of a dark chocolatey brown on a tapered blending brush and just blending that into the crease. What up Oprah? Next, I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Golden Sage. Now, if you go and look for Golden Sage, you are not going to find it. I think now it's called Golden Emerald. I don't know why they changed the name of it, but it is the exact same green shade. And these L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows are ridiculously pigmented and so buttery. They're amazing. And then blending out because what else do we do? <laughs> Next, I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Ice Latte on a pencil brush and just dabbing that into the inner corner. Then I'm going to go in with a spoolie and just comb out my brows. And today, I'm not using a drugstore product on my eyebrows. I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. And this brush is actually a brush that came with some gel liner, and it works perfectly for this, but you can use any tiny brush. A lip brush will work well for this, too. And then I just sprayed my spoolie with some hairspray and combed through them to set them. Then I'm taking my Morphe or Morph eyeshadow in 40, which is just dark white eyeshadow, and highlighting that my brow bone. And then we're going to blend. Blend. 
Next, I'm taking my Jordana Fabu Liner in black, and this is just a felt tip eyeliner. These are so cheap, you guys, and yeah, I really cannot say enough good things about them. They're, I think they're like $3, and they sell Jordana at my Walgreens. I'm not sure where else you can find it. And of course, because I suck at my left eye, I have to pull at it. Eve, avoid that at all costs, you guys, because that's going to cause you premature wrinkles. Next, I am taking this Urban Decay Pencil in Apathy, which is just a very dark grayish green, and putting that in my waterline. You don't have to use a green eyeliner. You can use black. Gold would be perfect for this look. I just don't own a gold, so I used this one. But whatever you have will work. Next, I'm taking my NYX Whipped Cream Eyeshadow on my tapered highlighter brush from Sigma and dabbing that underneath my eyes and anywhere else we put that NARS concealer. And remember to dab, do not swipe. If you swipe, you're going to mess up all that work you did on your concealer and you're going to crease and you don't want to crease because that's not cute or fabulous. <laughs> Next, I'm taking my NARS Blush Bronzer Duo in Orgasm and Laguna, and I'm dabbing that blush on my cheeks. This green goes perfectly with an orangey peachy blush, so that's why I'm using this. And then I'm going in with that Laguna bronzer on a super fluffy brush on my cheeks in big circular motions down my neck, and then also a little bit on my forehead. And then I'm taking my Josie Maron Argon Matchmaker Foundation in Fair and dabbing my face with that just to set everything. And normally I do my lips very last, but I kind of skipped in, around a little bit today. So I'm going into my Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in Peony, which is just a kind of a nude balm. It's kind of shimmery. I didn't have a nude lipstick up here. It was all in my purse, so I just compromised. And then I'm taking my Buxom Lip Gloss in Sophia and topping that off. And then I'm going to take a shower in my Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. And I let that dry, and then I go in with my lash curler and curl my lashes. Pump, pump, pump. <laughs> And then I'm taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and loading up those lashes. This mascara is a super thick formula and it dries out very quickly, so I definitely have a love-hate relationship with it. But once you get it where you want it, this is going to make your eyelashes look fierce and fabulous. <laughs> I think I just said fabulous like five times in this video. That's a new record. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in next week. Thanks. Bye. That stupid sun. Oh, gosh. Sun. Get my kitty. He's sleeping. His name's Rex. That's my boyfriend. I wish I was kidding. <laughs>